What's up everybody, this is MMA Rant, and I'm coming to y'all today with another video. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, thanks to everybody that's been listening to my videos, sharing my videos, leaving comments, also hit me with the thumbs up. I'm graciously appreciative of it. Also, in the description below, there's a link to my Facebook page. Like I said before, if y'all want to get to know me a little bit better and on a little bit more personal level, go to the description, hit me up on the link to my Facebook page. It's not a like page, it's not a follow page, it's an actual Facebook friends page. Go there, send me a friends request, I will respond to your friend request, I will accept it, and then we'll be friends on Facebook as well. Like I said before, also, during the pay-per-views and the fight nights, I post videos real time as possible. Also, I'm on there with some of my friends. We're discussing and talking about the pay-per-views and the fights. So again, go to the description below. Hit, hit me up on the Facebook link. Send me a friend request. I will accept it. And if you're listening right now, subscribe. Now on with the video. This video that I'm posting today is about Dana White being on the record saying that he wants Ronda Rousey to be fighting at UFC in New York on November the 12th at Madison Square Garden. Now, I'm thinking about this. I'm like, okay, he wants Ronda Rousey to fight at New, uh, New York on November the 12th. And he was saying that she should be coming back around October. Okay, last time I checked, there's been a little bit of an issue going on with Conor McGregor with Dana White. Basically, how it's going to be unprecedented if the fighters call the shots, basically, on what they want, okay? Now, I thought that he was the owner, and he calls the shots on as far as who fights and when they fight. Okay, so for him to be talking about and discussing that he wants her to fight at um, UFC uh, 205, I believe that's the number it's going to be, in November, on November the 12th, why can't he just say she's going to fight there, Okay. But there's been news going on that she inked a new deal, a new movie deal with Lifetime. Okay, now this inked movie deal that she has with Lifetime is not her actually being in any movies. She's going to be producing these movies. I believe it's three movies that are going to be put out in in 2016 and 2017. So she's going to have to put out a movie this year with Lifetime. And these movies are going to be based off of her uh, feelings with women empowerment. So it's a good thing that she's doing this, you know? But like I said, when is she going to put these movies out? Does Dana White know her movie obligations that she has with these contracts she signed? She also has two other movies that she's coming out with. Um, I believe one is Roadhouse, and then there's another movie with Mark Wahlberg that she has coming out next year. But she hasn't started filming for those movies yet. So she has a lot on her plate as far as movie and Hollywood obligations. And it's a lot more movie and Hollywood obligations that I know of than her UFC fighting obligations. And it seems like she signed contracts and there's gonna and I'm pretty sure there's dates and times for when she needs to start these movies. But how but however, her UFC fighting negotiations seem like they're up in the air. It seems like Dana White doesn't know for sure when she's gonna fight. He does know when she when he wants her to fight. But that's it. So it seems kind of crazy to me that this whole debacle with Conor McGregor just happened to where as though they put the axe down on Conor McGregor and basically told him how it's going to be and what he needs to do. And if he doesn't do it, then he can't fight. But it seems like it's not the same way with Ronda Rousey. So I don't know, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that, okay? And then also, it seems like, like I said before, when Misha Tate beat Holly Holm, I'm telling you right now, Dana White does not like Misha Tate. I'm telling you right now. Because as soon as Misha Tate won that title, he even said it himself. He called Ronda Rousey. Now, why the hell would you do that? Instead of focusing and celebrating the champion that just won the belt and Misha Tate, you're going to go call Ronda Rousey. And you're going to tell her that, oh, Misha Tate just choked out Holly Holm. Knowing that probably Ronda Rousey is not, not wanting to fight Holly Holm at the present time, he calls her and tells her that, and she says, well, it's back to business for me. So it's like they they are conspiring, and they know already, well, at least Dana White and them know, they don't want Misha Tate to be the champ. You know what I mean? They want Ronda Rousey to be the champ. They're going to do anything they can to make sure that she becomes the champ again. 
to them, they feel like they're giving Misha Tate an easy fight at UFC 200 to take on Amanda Nunez, you know. But that may backfire, okay? And if they also probably feel like if Amanda Nunez wins that fight, that Ronda Rousey will come back and beat her. But like I said, it's crazy. I just want to let y'all know that. that Dana White says that he wants Ronda Rousey to fight at uh, UFC 205 in New York, which I think is funny. Like I said, with what just happened with Conor McGregor, okay? And that she should be coming back in October. But that's my rant on that right there, y'all. I want to thank y'all for listening to my video. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think about the whole Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey possibly fighting at New York, UFC 205. Also, let me know how y'all feel about Dana White's favoritism with Ronda Rousey compared to Conor McGregor in the I want to thank y'all for listening. Hit me with the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, y'all, peace.